I am Petros J. Papadakis, the commissioner of music. And I want you to call now with your request. It's been a while since the commission stepped up. Here's your present to you. The commissioner of music. Making rulings on all of your music. Elite music douchery on mainstream radio. Well, here's the deal. You call 877-99 on Fox and you ask the commission if a band is cool to like, if a concert is cool to go to, or if a band or singer is okay enough to wear their t-shirt around town, or to bed, or to work out. Got it? 877-99 on Fox and the commissioner will tell you if what you're doing is okay, or if it's totally not okay, because only the commissioner can make judgments on your cultural likes and dislikes. Let the commission tell you what's cool. Let's go! Where do you want to start, Matt? Well, should we start with a disclaimer? Look, if it's something that's on the cover of NME or CMJ, New Music Monthly or something, chances are it's all right. These are like guilty pleasures that your daughter or your your sister who's 50 likes. Very subjective. Please, understand. Very Things subjective. that you really wonder about whether or not it's okay to listen to. And sometimes some of the same people call the commissioner or the same bands come up to the commissioner all the time, and that's because they're very controversial in the world of the commissioner. Now, let's get it cracking, man. We will start with Juan. Juan, you are on with the Commissioner of Music. One, two, three, <laughs> go ahead. Hey, Commissioner, um, I like to consider I have, I have my, uh, you know, my taste in music is very, or a tribe called Quest to Muse, but um, I really dig Tony Bennett. Joe? Oh? Hello? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I don't know. I just, I just feel like Dude, Tony know, Bennett used to be a boxer. Go, no, hold on. Why are you no, 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 those people iPod. suck. Those people suck. Those people have a problem with the commissioner. Let me tell you a little story about the commissioner of music, Petrus J. Papadakis. Petrus J. Papadakis didn't have a driver's license until he was 18 because of a couple of indiscretions. And Petrus J. Papadakis had a girlfriend a that he bought. Maybe he stole a car. Maybe. Maybe it was his father's car. I don't know if I'd call it indiscretions. <laughs> All I'm saying is this. The commissioner had a girlfriend who had a forerunner. And the commissioner bought two tickets to see Tony Bennett, the Universal Amp, in 1994. The commission was there. The show was going. Tony Bennett was out there in an all-white suit doing his thing. It's Tony freaking Bennett. And this girl had the audacity to say, I'm kind of bored. And I said, well, you can drive your punk-ass forerunner home. And the commissioner's <laughs> going to take a taxi home. That's a yes on Tony Bennett 1. A yes in all, all aspects of Tony Bennett's career. The later stuff, the earlier stuff. And because Tony Bennett is so near and dear to my heart, I will sing the first line of the Boulevard of Broken Dreams by a young Tony Bennett. Fresh out of the ring as a box. <clears throat> I walk along the streets of sorrow, the boulevard of broken dreams, where Gigolo and Gigolette can wake to find their eyes are wet, with tears that tell of broken dreams. Thank you, Juan. A fantastic call to start out. Let's get out to... Let's get out to L.A. where Jeff is waiting. This will go fast. Jeff, what's going on? Hey, folks. Driving the big rig through downtown L.A. Yeah, okay. And uh, the Melvins. The Melvins? Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, if you're a weirdo and you like the Melvins, that's no problem with they're me. They're the best band ever. Yeah, man. I don't know if they're the best band ever. They certainly don't step to Antonio Benedetto. Oh, I Tony know. Bennett, but, but we like the Melvins. You're fine there, Jeff. Moving on, the commissioner wants to see what's cracking in Rancho Cook. What's up, Felix? Hey, what's up, Pete Commission? How you doing, man? Everything's hey, what's, good. What's the beef with Project, man? You're always dogging Project on the Hey, look, man. Hey, plug. hey, if you want to, what's if, up? hey, hold on, man. If you want to go right. to a concert and sit there and sing along and pump your fist with a bunch of yeah, other man. dorky, hold on, with a bunch of other dorky white guys with songs <laughs> about incest and childhood suicide, then that's your prerogative. But when it comes to Pearl Jam, the the commission's heard the rest of the guys in the band are cool, but just the presence of Eddie Vedder alone. No! 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 Pearl Jam! No! You can sing all the incest rape songs you want to, Felix, and tell him. Stupid. No! Pearl Jam. They suck. They suck. 877-99 on Fox to Mark. Mark, you're on with the commissioner. Yeah, my girl's trying to get me into Jack Johnson and Dave Matthews. How long have you been dating? Uh, about a year and a half. Are you going to marry her? Probably. Oh, man, I, I'd think that's twice. A, that's a tight spot, I man. would think twice. Dude, just look. Just tell her it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. <laughs> tell her she wants to marry you. She's going to have to bark up another tree musically. Okay? That, that, right. that stuff is crap. Okay? Now, can you, <laughs> you know it is, right, Mark? Can you, can you yeah. maybe, uh, can you maybe turn Mark on to something that, that the lady might like that, that's in kind of the same vein? Rusted little, Root. There you go. Oh, Rusted Root. Old and in the Way. Uh, the Grateful Dead. You know, stuff that's good. 
that those guys, you know, I mean, uh, M. Ward is really good. Matt Ward is a really good performer. I mean, I'll even let you listen to Pete Yorn, but I'm not going to let you listen to Jack Johnson and Dave Matthews. Okay. You want to put on a corduroy hat and go, and go smoke bad weed out of a metal pipe. You know, that, that's your problem behind the bleachers. You go do that. You know, if that's what your wife's into, I'd marry somebody else. No, no. Uh, no. You can marry the girl, but that's not okay music. Just not okay. To West Co. and George. George, you're on with the commish. Hey, Commissioner, what's up? Hey, George, what's cracking? Uh, I was trying to impress my wife last night, uh, bumping some voice to man, you yeah, know. Hey, hey, cool. hey, that got you some, didn't it? Uh, no, she laughed at me. She said, hey, you know, what's up with Lil Wayne and Kanye West? Oh, uh, how old's your wife? <laughs> She's 27. Hey, your wife don't know nothing about no music, man. If That's she don't exactly know about we've it. come to the end of the road. Still, I can't let go. Come on, boys to men, your wife is crazy. Don't let the woman in your life lead you down a dark path, like to Kanye West or Jack Johnson or Dave Matthews. Such is the word of yeah. the commissioner of music, Petros J. Papadakis. Let's get out to, I don't know, wherever you want to go. Rose Mead and Rex. Hello, Rex. Hey, Rexy. Hey, what's cracking there, buddy? Uh, hey, have you yeah, Rex, you're on hold now. You can't. Look, you can't even call Petros Papadakis, buddy. Let alone. But Petros J. Papadakis, the commissioner of music, you're going to have to sit on hold and think about what you did. Let's get out to uh, Phil. Yeah, big Phil. Mr. Commiss, what is up? Everything's okay. What's cracking, Phil? I grew up listening to Motley Crue. I still love them uh, today. Uh, don't really love, I, actually, I celebrate their entire catalog. Uh, <laughs> um, can I be cool rocking any Motley Crue gear? And if so, does it have to be the old vintage stuff that everybody's wearing? How old are or? you? How old are you? Can I go out to a Saints in Los Angeles t-shirt? How people? old are you? I'm uh, I'm 38. Yeah, do what you want. Do what you want. Do you have a mullet? Do you have a mullet? No, I don't. Never okay, did. you're fine. Do what you want. Okay. Enjoy yourself. And you know cool. what? I don't care if it's vintage or new. Just do what you want. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. If you were if you were anything below thirty, though, it would have been a no. Just so you know. No. It would have been. Yeah. Would've. Instead, you're okay. Way to go, Phil. Let's go to Chris in Long Beach. Chris, you're on with the commissioner. What's up, Mr. Commissioner? How are you? Hey, Chris. Are you a, are you a Latino or a black guy? I'm a I'm a black guy. You're a black guy, and what are I'm you going to ask me? I'm a black guy. Well, I want to know if it's okay to listen to Maroon Five. Chris, you know it's not. <laughs> uh, Chris, Chris, you know, Chris, you know it's not okay. Chris, yeah, Chris. Uh, well, yes, sir. Do you ha do you hang out with other black guys? Yes, I do. How could the, how could how could you even how could you even walk into a room? <laughs> well, I, I listen to a wide variety. I'm a little bit of saying. Hey, hey, you know, I listen. Like the commission listens to a wide variety too. But if you're gonna yeah. listen to white people chick music, make sure it's not Maroon Five, all right? Please, Chris, please. I know, that, right. I know that guy gets a lot of ass, but that don't mean it's okay to listen to his music, all right? No, all right. no, 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 no. And yes, Coconut Records is fine. That's that's the Jason Schwartzman stuff, the guy from uh, Bored to Death, the new show on HBO, which I enjoy. Jimmy E. World is a Matt Money Smith band. That is fine. Agrilite's fine. Replacements fine. Kim Yaw Dawson, fantastic, but she was a lot cooler before Juno came out. And Pete Doherty, Baby Shambles, that's the guy from the Libertines? Yes. Yeah, 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 we're going to say okay for Pete. Good. We're going to say okay. He's a convict, for We're going to say okay. Smokes all that crap. Yeah, we're going to say fine for Pete Doherty, and, and, and such is that for the commissioner music. Thank you very much. It was great to be here. Petros J. Papadakis, I felt like we reached out and helped some people. Matt, what do you think? Absolutely. Yeah, Way to go, Commissioner. Way sure? to go. You sound like you're being a little sarcastic. No, 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 most definitely. I feel like people were... I think you really gave the young man who uh, enjoys Motley Crue some very sound advice. Well, you know, 38 hey, years old. 38. You do what you want to do. Right. You like the crew? Go ahead. You know, it's not like Vince Neil's and coming you know over your house. Or... Them, them punk-ass kids that are buying their vintage shirts at uh, Urban Outfitters, they'll look up to him. You know? Yeah, they were. He yeah. was there. Yeah. Saw it all. From Shout at the Devil to Kickstart My Heart. Dr. Like, Feelgood. I kind of like Kickstart. I, well, oh, I was kind of right in your wheelhouse, to, right? Your middle to, school when that came out? pumped me up for my Pop Warner football. Oh, yeah, it did. Back in the day. <laughs> but that's a true story about the commission that Tony Bennett show. Now, about did she that. leave? Yeah, well, the, the commission took a cab. Took a cab huh? Oh, yeah. And when, when the cab pulled up, he saw it was a commission. Now, you told that, there. I mean, that was a big deal. You told the, uh, the young man not to marry the woman that uh, ah, liked no, no, Jack Johnson. Oh, okay. The commission was kidding. I was going to say. No, oh, you go ahead and marry her. But look, don't be having bubble toes playing at your reception, dude. you got to put your foot down. Nobody. Nobody. I don't know why we're just making the bubbly toes. I mean, come on. I mean, really? <laughs> That's good?